Welcome back to CSL TV. And I just hope you guys are having a beautiful, blessed day. Uh, I'm going to start this video off a little different today. But, of course, there's going to be some news and the shit usually bad. Uh, but before I get into that content, subscribe to the channel. You'll be helping me out. And the good thing about that is you'll be doing a good deed and it's free. Um, like the video. Comment down below what made you watch CSL TV. Because I use the feedback to be able to bring you guys you know different type of content without getting in trouble and you know if you got social media just share me on your social media other than that um i'm gonna keep this short so have a beautiful blessed day let's get it This story out of Georgia is heartbreaking. This is 18-year-old Elijah DeWitt, a football player at a high school about 45 minutes northeast of Atlanta. On Wednesday night, he was on a date with his girlfriend. But in the parking lot of this Dave & Buster's, an altercation went down between Elijah and two teens. It's not entirely clear what caused the conflict, but it led to this 911 call. Hey, we, need a, we need someone here at Dave & Buster's and Sugar Little Bill, someone just got shot. When police arrived, Elijah was found dead. His family is devastated. We loved our son beyond measures, and our hearts are broken. On Thursday, police tracked down and arrested the two teens believed to be involved in Elijah's shooting at a gas station in South Carolina. According to a Johns Hopkins report, gun violence was the leading cause of death for children and teens 19 and younger in 2020, ahead of car crashes, drug overdoses, and cancer. The 18-year-old and 19-year-old suspects in Elijah's death face multiple charges, including aggravated assault and murder. Police are still investigating the whole thing. So, I just gotta say, I don't like y'all scaring these little ass kids like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, they fucking gonna be traumatized off this shit. You feel me? Like, you shouldn't be taking your little kids, the toddlers, at, at like this. You shouldn't be fucking taking them somewhere to scare the shit out of them. Trying to get a laugh out of it. This shit is not fucking funny. Now, when I was a young boy, yeah, I did dumb shit ass shit like this. But y'all big ass grown adults should not be scaring these little ass fucking kids. Because you don't know what y'all could do to them as they grow up. Ha ha he he, this shit's not fucking funny. And that's just, that's just sad how you can go viral off the shit like this. You know what I'm saying? And everybody think it's hilarious, funny, all this and that shit. And not realizing what they're doing to the young mind when they scare the fuck out of them and traumatize them. Now this fast food incident right here, I can another another video I couldn't show all of. Um, it was mad disrespectful anyway, and real negative. But 
That's just to let y'all know how stressed out people are. How stressed out people are. Now there is a pretty big gap right there. She could have pulled her car up and deal with what she ever had to deal with. Because if we look, he's right here trying to order, but she's stopping him because of that big space. Now I don't know how pissed off he was, what kind of day he had, but I'm just happy this didn't escalate to somebody getting shot. And it was just words being said. Cause I watched the whole video, but they were just exchanging words. They was real bad, negative words, put it that way. In and I'll, I'll move it. Well, you live over there, not over here. We're not even in your fucking driveway, bro. We're in the neighbor's house. Well, this is what we gotta do. Hey, right here, I'm renting my shit. Yeah, down. go ahead. I got gophers over here. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, this right here, I couldn't show y'all the full video because I ain't trying to get in trouble. But I will say, this type of shit right here needs to stop because, for the simple fact, we all in this shit together. Um, it's sad to see how this escalated the way it did. And I couldn't really show y'all because, you know. Um, I'm pretty sure the people who's viewing, who's watching this, viewing this, you know, I gotta be sensitive to the viewer's eye, but still be able to uh, spread the message that we should not be dealing with this right here at all. Yo, all of y'all, if y'all don't like me, blow me.